Hello and welcome back to Cardboard Decoy Plays Dark Souls. We are in an Orlando, and Orlando things are happening. That is what's that's what's going on right now. Okay, so I'm gonna try to not be the biggest chicken shit in the world and go kill these guys so I can kill this mimic um, and then get a treasure in the other one. I forget which one uh, is supposed to reveal that it's a mimic. Is it the dark one or the light one? I I honestly am just that bad at this game. Also, I now have two guys following after me because I don't know how to pull correctly. So you know. That happens. Whatever. Let's see if I can do this. Oh. Alright. Whoa. I'm cool. I'm cool. No big deal. Two giant golden ass statues after me. At least they aren't the lieutenants. I hate those things. I don't know if it's just the association of like having to fight them endlessly right before Ornstein and Smo, but uh they, uh, the, those last two guardians right there are, like, the biggest batch of bullshit in a game I've ever seen. Let's see. And you're a sucker. Sorry to break it to you. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you're bad. Okay, there we go. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is, a this is the trap. Is there any other indicating signs? Oh, it's not the trap. Okay. Well, you know. Twinkling Titanite. That's fine. And over here is most certainly a mimic. Yes. I knew it. This is my sense of foresight there. Okay, well, you know. I could also just die immediately because I'm bad. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh. Oh man, ah man, that upsets me so much. Okay, I just did like a whoa, and that was enough to like make me remember the fact that Robin Williams is dead. Sorry to, you know, be a downer, but uh, man, I like between the last video and this one, I'm definitely got kind of like a weird down streak going on. Okay. Whew. But yeah, no. So well, there we go. Um, these were recorded very close to their air date, so uh, you can probably guess what day it is, but. Actually, I guess the news came out last night. Yeah, it was like late last night, and then, uh, you know, the ensuing news fest happened and all of that fun stuff. Let's say I'm going to stop back there just to refill everything, because I'm not going to be at a bonfire for a while, I don't think. So, this could be really stressful. Uh, yay fun, basically. We're trying to do it all in one run through, or at least, you know, by the end of the video, make it to the next bonfire. No problems whatsoever. Uh, and if, you know, I manage to not die a million times, that could potentially be a bit of a boon as far as things go. Okay, let's go down here. So, I haven't done any side quests yet. There's actually quite a bit of side questing to be done and uh, that I am aware of. And I have not done any of it because I am waiting for the Lord Vessel. Lord Vessel is going to make my life so much easier and I like it when my life is easy. Alright, uh, let's see if... I want to actually see if I can get the gargoyle halberd. Because I know you can get them off of these guys. I'm just wondering if I can actually manage to pull it off. Okay, and I think one of them actually drops the gargoyle helm, which would be... is equally cool, if not cooler. Um, uh, because the gargoyle helm looks a lot like Kame's helm. So, you know, flare-wise, I like it. Whoop. Okay. Uh, can we please... Okay. Alright. Uh, well, I'm gonna miss. There we go. Gargoyle Tail Axe. Perfect. Alright. Okay. I'll probably forge that to see if I can actually get it better than the Halberd I currently have. Plus 9 Halberd is pretty sweet. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. There we go. I finally cleared that damn message. I hate how the messages persist whenever you really don't need them to. Alright, in case you couldn't tell, this is another enemy that I killed on my previous playthrough with Pyromancy, which definitely makes this a little bit simpler. Uh, range as always makes everything simpler. Okay, so what all did I get there? I got a Gargoyle Halberd, which is not that great. Um, and then... Wait, where's the Gargoyle Tail Axe? Oh, it's up above. Okay. Men, Serpent Greatsword... Battle axe, gargoyle tail axe. Okay, so that's an axe. And what I want to see is if I can get any use out of this one. It's got a lot of... Oh, I'm comparing to the 
Crystal Halberd, which has like no durability. That's a different problem all on its own. Black Knight Halberd would be super awesome. I don't want to use it because that would just be super cheap. Uh, although, well, Hornstein and Samoa are kind of a special case. We'll see. Uh, let me think, let me think. What else did I get? Oh, the helmet. Uh, let's compare. Fang, Boar, Helmet. Uh, physical Defense. Magic Fire and Lightning Defense is better. Bleed, Poison Resist is better. Poise is less. Hmm. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll try to forge that too and see what happens there. Because I think this is a little more true to true to cane form. Just a little bit. That's that's how I feel on the subject, at least. All right. Cool. Well, we'll just leave it at that. Actually, what's the weight difference? Eight versus three point five. Mm, that is tempting. It continues to be rather tempting. Uh, but you know, I do kind of want to equip like the heaviest armor, somewhat arbitrarily. So okay. Let's go over here, and there's a thing over here, I think it's just a soul, but now I'm just being completionist. Or, yeah, okay, that is a chest. See, it looked light colored, and I was like, nope, you're not going to get me. No, nope, don't think so. And, uh, is there anything over there? It doesn't look like it. Okay. And it is gently warm right now. Like, I kind of... Uh, I had to turn off my air conditioner for videos because I noticed that it was totally warping the sound and making everything sound underwater again. Which was a problem I had in videos a long time ago because I didn't really understand how sound works. Um, so, doing noise removal and things like that didn't turn out so well. And that same kind of problem sort of returned. So I was like, okay, fine, well... No air conditioning for me. I just record an hour at a time and, uh, you know, try to brave the heat. Let's see. It took me so long to find this. Like, this is bullshit. Games do this periodically where they have some little minor detail of something you wouldn't normally associate with being traversable. And then they make that the only way to progress. And I just want to say I hate that. And that was, like, the only point in Dark Souls where I was like, this is stupid. This is fucking stupid. Okay, well, we're doing enough damage to one-shot these guys, so I can appreciate that. No. Yep. Okay. Well, I one-shot him because... Okay, I see. Yeah, he was only one-shot because he was, uh... His stance was messed up. That's fine. Okay. I can't run up ladders. That sucks. Alright. Cars are really loud in my apartment, apparently. I don't know if that picked up or not, but... I guess I do kind of have the door cracked open for coolness sake. Alright. This makes me a little nervous. Just a little bit, though. Okay. I'm trying to remember how you get on that left side without dying. I think I remember. Oh. Can I? I can target him. Uh huh. Uh huh. Where, where are you going? Excuse me, sir. Can I help you? Oh. Uh. Oh, he almost lost his balance there. That would have been terrible. So just stay here and get stabbed in the chest. Oh, well, he fell. That sucks. If he wasn't already dead, he'd be deader now. Okay. Let's just continue on and try to survive here. Uh, there we go. That worked. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. Yay, crash chandelier. Chandelier's crashing was one of those things that, I don't know, maybe it was like an 80s thing in general, but I remember being a very small child and the most impressive thing I could possibly see in a movie was a chandelier crashing to the ground. I don't know, maybe I'm weird. Okay, well, this is a less than ideal situation for me. How about we move? Okay, got you Z-targeted. That's not Z-targeting, that's a totally different console. Wall, platform, whatever you want to call it. And you are stabbed. Goodness. What a predicament for you. Okay. God, why am I so nervous? I've done this plenty of times now. Well, you know, you made that real easy for me, so I appreciate that. Yeah, you're quite dead. <laughs> I like, if you rewind and watch that, like he hits the ground and he's already like in a smooshed position, right? And then he ragdolls and uh, after that and kind of gets a little bit more chill about it. Just sort of like, oh, I'm dead. <sighs> Good stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I can slide. I was like, why aren't you? I don't know what's going on with my game right now, but it's getting kind of annoying. All right. Let's do this. I remembered how to do it. We go over here. 
And jump. Well, we didn't necessarily need to jump, I guess, but I did anyways. Is there a guy back here? No, there's not a guy back here. Seems like there's a guy, like, right around the corner around here somewhere that can totally jump you. Yep, there he is. Okay. Alright. Oh, he's dead. Okay. He's kind of, like, looked at me in disbelief for a second there, and I thought he was still animate. Alright. Now. Oh. Mimic check. Well, I'm gonna miss, but... Okay. Not a mimic. It's like, I know there's mimics coming up, and I know which ones are the mimics. Um, for the most part. Uh, there's there's two that I can think of off the top of my head, and then after that, I'm totally boned. But, you know, this will work for now. I'm going to just check everything just to be safe. Is there another painting guardian up here? Yeah. He actually kind of revealed himself a little prematurely there. Much to his detriment. Okay. So, painting guardian because, for the uninitiated, there's a giant painting right there. You can enter that painting with the correct item and in, uh, in your inventory, but I have not gotten it yet. Because once again, that's a side quest. It's not necessary for progression. So I will do that part eventually, but not right now. Okay, now here we go. This is one of the most uh, interesting, if not completely unnecessary, mechanics in the game. Uh, and this giant rotating staircase. Giant rotating staircase, you say? Yes, giant rotating staircase. It's so Zelda-ish. Like, that was the, the initial impression I got. I was like, this is something you would see in Zelda. Not saying that, like, you know, Zelda is exactly like Dark Souls or anything like that. Oh, that was a really good time to push that lever and get immunity. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Hello, Garg. Gargul. Oh, they're not going to give me another spear, axe, tail, whatever? That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Me, I'm just gonna kill you. If you could please die just a little bit faster, that'd be fantastic. Oh, well, you know, you can also swing that giant halberd at me and hurt me. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Alright. Okay. Well, you've got lightning breath. I hope you're very pleased with yourself. Okay. Alright. Okay, he's gonna swing, and I'm gonna get knocked over. Fortunately, I didn't do very much damage, and I'm not going to get knocked over again. I fell over. I fell over again. Okay, thank you. You're dead now. Okay, gargoyle shield and helm. The shield, if I remember correctly, has like one stat that's really high, like magic defense or something. And everything else is kind of eh. Alright, let's go over here. And now we're going to face all of these guys. Whoa. Whoa. Uh... I wasn't quite the, the Robin Williams family guy reverence as uh, the other one was, but uh, I was actually more of a perfect hair forever reference, which I guess that's what, six now? Six references that I made? I really should have kept count if I had known I was going to accidentally reference that freaking show so many times. Let's see. Look at these turquoise fish. Uh, those are bracelets. All right. Whoa! Easy there. Oh, hey. Kind of did like a crazy sweep to the side interpretive dance move right there. Alright, that works. Okay. This is going to probably trigger all three of them. No, you can't hit me from behind the pillar. You're going to have to come get line of sight on me. Oh, you're going to walk as slow as possible? That's cool. It's not like I'm pressed for time here or anything. That's fine. That's like more ad money for me. Uh, Let's see. Woo! Yeah, you've been stabbed. Right in the dick, too. Or vagina. You know, it's an equal opportunity bad guy organization, I'm sure. Let's see. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. All right. Oh, did... Okay, I thought I accidentally hit that other one, which would have been fantastic. But not so much. Wow! You are able to dodge and to uh, avoid quite a bit of damage there. All right, here's that corpse on that chandelier that I knocked down. Whoa, and it gave me a sorcery, which I will never use. Okay. No. And I'm dropping frames again. What is going on? I wish I knew what background processes I had going up right now that were causing this. And I would just systematically stop them. Okay, well, I'm going to get stabbed a little bit. All right. Okay. All right. That should whoop, not kill both of them like I wanted. There we go. Oh, man. 
Yeah, this really is bullshit with so few frames. I wonder if it's trying to connect to uh, games for Windows Live or something. I would imagine that'd be the case, because I don't usually have this problem with my current suite of uh, programs open that I have right now. Okay. Throwing knife, fantastic. Oh, you know what? I have a browser open, and I think it's probably on something that might be lagging it. Sorry, I'm totally, like, just going on and on about what could possibly go wrong with, uh, or be going wrong with my computer. It's not exactly a great conversation. Let's see. Ooh, okay. And... Yeah, okay. I wanna... I really feel like backstabbing this guy for some reason, but I'm not going to, so... There we go. I'll just, you know, crotch stab. Uh, gender neutral, uh, nether region stab. What would, what would be a good, aside from crotch, what would be a good, uh, gender neutral genitalia name? Like, uh, the, the pigina? <laughs> that's, that's awful. Yeah, here we go. It's the black iron stuff. Cool stuff. Alright. Let's see how slow we are if we put it all on at once. Where is it? Please be near the top. Thank you. Okay. Uh, it's black leather. We want black iron. Where is black iron armor? Uh, it's probably down a little bit. Where is it? So we got the black sorcerer stuff too, and it's confusing me. Like, or we got black leather and black sorcerer boots, and I'm like, uh, it's one of those. I know it. All right. That's well, not I'm fat rolling. I believe. I believe that's officially fat rolling, but that's pretty cool. I dig it. Change this helmet to something a little bit more fashionable. There we go. That's about as Kane Highwind as we're going to get, I think. We'll probably go for a few more spikes, but uh, yeah, I dig it. Let's see. How does this actually compare to the elite armor? Uh, everything's worse. All right, cool. So we're we're gonna stick with it, even if it makes me slow for now. Like, I guess I'll just invest a lot in uh, endurance, and uh, that'll be that basically. So yeah, what are we at weight wise now? I'm and now I'm curious. I'm into the numbers at the moment. Uh, equipment load. We're actually. Hold on. Are we below half? We're below half. Yeah. Wow. So we're actually not that bad. Let me see. Uh, well, we got two of those rings equipped. Yeah, so I guess maybe we're not fat rolling. Like, that's all in my head. Uh, okay, first of all, let's go down here. Didn't make it quite to the bonfire I was hoping to make it to, but we got to a bonfire. Kind of fiddled around with the armor and everything there for a little bit. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess that means we're unfattable at this point, which is kind of cool. Uh, I guess the next coolest thing would be to be able to do that without Havel's ring on. Okay. Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. Yes. I forgot what item it is you're supposed to have this. I'll look that up before I do it, but I will come back down here and do the thing you're supposed to do there. Okay. Oh, maybe I should actually rest at this bonfire instead of just poking it. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Can I level up? I can level up. Sweet. We're at 20 vitality, so I guess... Uh, is this the character's name? Parameter. Equipment load. Okay, yeah. So we'll we'll go ahead and do a little bit of this. If for no other reason than because I get a bunch more stamina now. Um, stamina is always good because I like just, you know, sitting there and stabbing things endlessly. Let's, let's see if there's any objective increase in my speed here. Not really, but oh well. Okay. So we got iron armor and a gargoyle helm, which I feel pretty good about. I think that's just about our final set of gear. I might get a better uh, shield or even the black iron shield if I'm feeling really daring. Because right now I think we could stay under half weight and still do that. It's not... If I remember correctly, the weight classes work that way. Or like even if, if, I, if I have read correctly, the weight classes in Dark Souls 1 work in uh, quarters. So basically for... Every quarter of your max equipment weight, it allows you to move a certain movement class. So, like, this is uh, not the best, but it's, like, second best. Or even third best. I don't know if Naked actually gives you any real benefit, but, you know. Uh, but I don't think it's progressive. I think Dark Souls 2 is much more progressive in the sense that... Uh, not like, you know, it's uh, it voted for gay marriage and uh, the freedom, to cho freedom of choice, but it's... Uh, 
you the if you get just like one pound slower, then you'll be however many hundreds of a percent uh, or one pound. If you get one pound heavier, then you're like however many hundreds of a percent slower as, as a result. So, but uh, I do like this armor. I imagine it's going to do quite a bit for our longevity, especially since we'll be trying to do Ornstein and Smo the hard version. So that ought to be real interesting, I imagine. Okay, he's gonna stab. Oh, he's gonna smash us. Man, you know what? For all the numbers that the armors tend to display, it doesn't really feel that different. It's like I'm getting just as much protection out of this level one iron, uh, black iron armor as I would be out of a level three sealer set, robes of the sealer, or whatever it's called. Anyway, well, I made it to this uh, bonfire, and that's all I really wanted to do. So uh, next time on Cardboard Decoy Plays... Dark Souls, I think we'll actually be able to get all the way... We won't fight Ornstein and Smo, but we'll take care of all of the, the fun exploration bits and find uh, Siegmeier of Katarina and a couple other things. Hopefully, if I haven't screwed up that storyline, which is entirely feasible. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Have fun.